maybe you haven't before. That's a dangerous thing. That's part of the reason why coaches will make a lot of line changes. And that's something that John Cooper does regularly. Loose puck in front, saved by Vasilevsky. It's loose and it's in. It was bouncing around, but Gojin was in the side of the net, but Arizona has opened the scoring here. Kind of a scrambly play. one nothing, Coyotes. Strange. Travis Boyd looks like he's going to get the credit for it. The turnover by Bogosian, and that was the problem. It, off the mask of Vasilevsky, off of Bogosian, I think back off of Vasilevsky. Look, this is crazy. Yeah, it was exactly that. Off the mask of, Bogo, of uh, Vasilevsky, off of Bogosian, off of Vasilevsky. Steven Stankos, no goals in his last six. Been sitting on 497 for a while. Here comes Hayden. Hayden, little drop pass, step shot, rebound, and Slow State score again. Tapped in by Christian Fisher. Two very quick goals by Arizona. And it's 2 0. Team that has a lot of confidence because of their last three victories. They catch the Lightning in the neutral zone, attacking with some speed. And then it's the second and third wave. Lightning playing the puck too much, not getting a handle on it. That's the problem around the net. If you're just going to play the, for the puck, you're just going to fish for it if you don't get it. Inches away from getting the first goal tonight, and here they come again. It's points. Points. Kucherov in. Points. It goes up, and it scores! And now the Lightning get a bounce. They're on the board. 2-1 for Fisher right there is read by Brett and Point. Brett Point gives it to Kucherov and then gets ready because he knows even though he's on a bad angle, he's going to get a pass back from 86. Watch this eye-hand coordination. Goes off his foot, it's up in the air, he knocks it out of the air. Never loses stride, doesn't blink. Yeah, I do this all the time. That's about the only thing he hasn't done lately because Brett and Point. What a chance there for the Lightning to tie this game. Now it's Hagel. Kucherov, he's in! Hits the post! He had Vomelka beat clean! For Arizona, makes the play out to center ice. Edmund in position. Takes the puck, tries to go up the middle. It doesn't get through, and now points right side. Cuts up, drops it back for Sergachev. There's the shot! They score! Tipped in front, Hagel was there. Sergachev took the shot, but it is a tie game. shots towards the net. This is an off-speed pitch that fools the goaltender. It hits something. Hagel did not go to the bench first, although it looked like it hit his stick. Sergachev went to the bench first. Let's take a look. Oh, there we go. That's the stick it hit. So it went right by Hagel. The Melka just never saw it. There it hit the shaft of the stick. Lawson Kraus. And what they're challenging. Beats bottom of your screen is what they're looking at. That's Kucherov coming out of the zone. After reviewing the coach's challenge for offside, the play was onside. Arizona has set the bench minor penalty delay of game. So it's 2-2 on the Lightning around the power play. Here they come in over the line with the entry. Point with a burst of speed into the corner that throws it back to Hedman. Hedman walks the line, drops it out to Kucherov. Nikita Kucherov, Edmund, Stan goes with a shot, he scores! Steven Stan goes with 498! There have been times where I've, I've thought afterwards, Stammer, why didn't you shoot that one? But who's going to second guess a guy who's got 498 goals? Number 498 here tonight. Lawson Kraus dumps the puck back in. Richie being checked there by Sergachev, who's got one of the goals tonight. Turns it over. Here's Bukestad. His shot. He scores. Sergachev handed it right to Bukestad, and he did not waste that opportunity. 3 3. What Sergachev wants to do. Watch Sergachev come out of the corner. 
He picks this man, but look at Bukestad. See how he came off the wall. He saw what Sergachev was looking at, stole the puck right here. There's a good look. Now all of a sudden the Lightning are all out of position. But he is showing his team, hey, these are the same two points, and we are not messing with these guys, but it's still a 3-3 game. And here comes Kalorn, a breakaway from Sellerice. Kalorn in, scores! Gostas Bear tries to make a good move at the blue line and loses the puck. Alex Kalorn. a piece of brown. Gloves came off. Linesman let him go. Two big tough customers. Reach and leverage and balance all important here. Both players are kind of locked out. That left arm gets locked out. Both thrown right handed. So if you've got a reach advantage that helps. Every once in a while, you might see a little left hand pop up and pop on a chin, but the linesmen are like, all right, guys, get it out of your system. And they have. That's what Pat Maroon does, though. Victor Hedman leaves it for Stankos. Stankos carries it in. Jimmy's back. Back to Hedman. Hedman waits, shoots, scores! <laughs> here by Victor Hedman. Let's watch the goaltender for a second, though. Is he anticipating another pass over to Steven Stamko? I was watching his feet and watching his body shift here. Hedman's thinking about it, but see, the defenseman goes out towards Stammer, so that allows more time and room for Hagel in front. So this is a great read by Victor Hedman. Sees the defenseman leave Hagel in front. You know Sorelli wanted to make that pass to Steven Stamkos. He's two goals away from 500 career goals. And I, I don't know if Gostas Bear was aware of that. Very probably. And he was ready for it. In front, here's a chance. They score! Oh, yeah. I, they definitely have an argument there. That, that looked like it was offside at first blush to me, too. That's, that's hard to tell from that angle. The first angle, Nigel Kerwin and Ryan Garlock behind the scenes. After the coach's challenge by Tampa Bay for offside, the play was offside, no goal. Net remains empty. This one goes just past the Lightning goal. Colton can't contain it. Sharp angle shot goes wide. And the clock runs down. And the Lightning will win their seventh in a row.